Who discovered it? The Sumerians first saw Mercury and named it Uru Idim Gu, which meant the jumping planet. Though many of our ancient cousins thought the one they saw in the morning, next to the sun, was different to the one they saw in the evening, as it looked like it was the other side. The Mayans even said it was two owls, so everyone thought it was either really quick or two different things. The Greeks figured it out as just one planet, so well done the Greeks. What's it like to visit? Mercury is the closest to the sun. The sun might look like this on Earth, but on Mercury it looks like this. And as it goes quickly round the sun, a year for them is 88 days. So on Mercury you can vote and drink alcohol when you are four years old. The day though is longer than the year, and you thought your week was dragging. The main problem is there's no atmosphere, because the gravity is weak and the sun has boiled it all off. Because there's no atmosphere, it gets really hot in the sunshine, but also it gets really really cold in the shadow, like minus 170 degrees C. Want something cold? Just stick it where the sun don't shine. There are even craters with ice in them. Mercury might be the closest to the sun, but it is not the hottest. What's it famous for? Well, there's an element named after it, which like its planet, moves around a lot because it's a metal that's a liquid at room temperature. Weird. And Einstein, you know this guy, proved his theory of relativity with something called the perihelion of Mercury. Basically, Mercury doesn't move around the sun how you expect it to because the space itself is curved around the sun. Yeah, that's one for another time, I think. Have we been there? Yes, these guys went there, Mariner 10 and Messenger. Mariner 10 mapped some of the surface and after it was turned off was left to orbit the sun. Messenger was crashed into Mercury, happily taking pictures as it fell. And this guy is joining the party in 2025. A party with no atmosphere though.